introverts. Play the music. Pal, you're good with words. You know that, man? I think the gym is dumb. R- did Rachel was, walk in the room? Of course I've eaten a Baconator. Man, if you ain't doing CrossFit, you can get CrossFit. You're shuffle. right. A long burger's not the worst idea I've ever heard. That's your sitcom right there as a, as a, as a Mr. Fix-It-All who just can't fix his heart. We will not be defending Atlantic City. No accounting for taste. If it's something that somebody loves, let's try and celebrate it instead of uh, shitting on it. Been looking up dirty stuff? Protect your online activity today with a, with a VPN rated number one by Business Insider. They're inside of your business. Visit our exclusive link, expressvpn.com slash NAFT, and you can get an extra three months free on a one-year package. Great deal. That's expressvpn.com slash NAFT. Expressvpn.com slash NAFT. Mm. <laughs> Topic near and dear to my heart. Introversion? Yeah. It's ironic that we we rarely have guests, and today we invited one for yeah. the topic of introverts. Well, because he is the most extroverted person I have ever met in my that's entire why life. We want to hear that's you what stick you. Up that's what you. That's what you guys think. You're not extroverted. You think you're not extroverted. I think He's I'm so extroverted. I think I'm quite quiet. I think you I'm very so walk down the street like <laughs> David Lee Roth in the California Girls <laughs> video. <laughs> And I think that's a cry for help. <laughs> cry for help. Yeah. My, my moonlighting reference was all. <laughs> you, you are. You are I travel with a 12 piece mandolin band in my head. <laughs> You're socially unstoppable. <laughs> socially unstoppable. Is Jesus awesome. Christ. That's, that's a great that's name an album. for you. Yeah. You know, you are. Mm. Truly one of the most extra. You are Will Ferrell in Superstar when he's like walking through the ca- cafeteria and just says yeah. hi. He's like, Father, good to see you. Todd, yeah. sorry your dad died. <laughs> bang, bang, boom. Really? Yeah, you yeah. are. I you think, shake hands with everyone. <laughs> You're always up for a good time. You always, I do. I do like to hang. But I, I guess today's Sean Patton, by the way. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I Needs no yeah. introduction. I'd have preferred that. But <laughs> because, <laughs> because, because he already know. Because he already introduced yeah. himself. Uh, special on Peacock yes, right now. Special on Peacock. Number one. That's what it's called. Not what it's ranked. But uh, Peacock special. But also on See, I just did that Peacock is great for an extrovert. Oh, yes. Peacock. And, yeah. You know, yeah. They're, they're up to some good shit. Uh, I, 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 stuff. I, but I am... I do require hours upon hours of alone time every day, though, to get to that point. Like, I okay. need it. You charge your battery cells. It's not even. It's not so much charging my battery, because it's not out of exhaustion. It's that, like, I, I don't like most people. Present company excluded. I mean. You know? I do get, I get very, like, I'll be nice to people, and I usually will be friendly just to sort of, like, bounce people off of me. Does that make sense? Yeah. But, but I, I, I generally am a very, like overly agitated in my head type of guy. And I have to spend, I spend a minimum, I need a minimum of three hours of alone time a day. Minimum. That's what I do. Yeah. I mean, probably a little around there, but like. Yeah. And I'm basically untangling cords. Like, that's, that's what contrary, I'm doing. Yeah. Contrary to your point. Yeah. It's like, if we're out. Yeah. Like, we're all out drinking and it's the three of us. Mm-hmm. Get in here. Like you, sure, like you are. Sure, if we sure, go to a sure, set, sure, sure. you're always down for a second location. There are about 15 people in my life who I will all, whenever I see, I'm like, ah, I can be myself. Yeah. I can hang. Yeah. I can, you know, uh, one of them's in this room. Uh, no, <laughs> Your podcast no, producer. No, yeah. Yeah. My Albanese is the only one. <laughs> yeah. No, all, th- all four of you guys. You guys are like four people who I can like, or three people. There's four yeah. of us total. <laughs> so extroverted. But you I are. know you, shit. You know, yeah. I feel like there's more here. Yeah. Like a party. Yeah. Picked Sean's an extra app off the friendly oh, yeah. tree. Let me but, let me ask. Okay, yeah. like uh, you know, not to go too inside baseball with stand up. Now a day on the road, you wake up in a hotel where, like, say it's just a Kansas City. Pick a city that you don't have friends in. Yeah. Okay, that's what, a good one. What do you do? Dude, it, one of my fa- it, it has become one of my favorite fucking things to do when I'm on the road alone is I just I'm an urban explorer. I just fucking strap on the the good walking underwear, you know, the good moisture wickers because yeah, you no. you need that even in the winter to wick up that you know 
that journeyman sweat. Spending money. See, this is why yep. you're an extrovert. Like, yeah. we asked you what you like to do on the road, and you're like, you started with what kind of underwear you put on. Yeah. Wake yeah. Up you're a conversationalist. If we're, not, we're already at crotch humidity. Yes, <laughs> already. You start You start at crotch humidity. <laughs> we're, already, are, we're, already, we're already right, right on the track. equator. Yeah. <laughs> You've named two of my next specials in Socially Unstoppable <laughs> and Crotch Humidity. <laughs> but, but I just... I'll tell you this. Uh, that girl's crotch humidity. Oh, <laughs> I like it like a swamp down south in January where it's still a little cold. Ooh, that jambo. <laughs> Ooh, jambo. How about that crotch jambo? Jambo. How about that humidity jambo with that pussy jambo? I can't say it. I could have said anything else. <laughs> but I went with that obvious. Dude, I listen, listen. There's no accounting for taste. Um, it's right there in the title. <laughs> I know. I just um, want to reiterate. Get us out of pussy jambo. Pussy jambo. That's it. I mean, that's the, my, that's what I'm renaming my podcast. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> you already called a call. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, Back when Bootsy Collins was up for dialysis, they needed a step in. Pussy Jambo jumped in for Parliament. You get it. Thank you. You get it. No. Mm. All right. So after, but I just, I just like, I just handled. like, you know, bike. Like, I, I get a fucking my bag on. I just walk around. I fucking just soak in as much of the surrounding as I can. I'm just like, and you're just. Because I think every city you do has some cool a shit. A lot. But, you, but yeah. you're out. Yeah. You get out in the mix with people, though. But I don't. Whether or not I, you're interacting, you're out. No, when I'm, I get out in the day. I'm out, like, yeah. walking around, soaking you do in. You coffee or whatever. And then coffee. I find there's something cool in pretty much every city. Even the lamer ones, you can find some cool shit. Yeah. But what I'm not doing is, like, documenting and, like, putting it on social media and yeah. be like, here, because that, to me, is the line for me. I'm like, I, I, well, I can't like document. Well, that's, like, not really, like, actually... I would experiencing yeah, yeah. if you're, you're like if you're not being present, you're like losing something. I would but, argue that that's different than being an extrovert. I think that's uh, you know maybe a bit of narcissism or yeah. or, or marketing yeah. hustle. But like yeah, I don't. Uh, There's a lot leave of the room. You don't. Nope. Kyle doesn't. I'm You've going, been on the road. I got Kyle. a weekend. I, I after this trip to New York, yeah. I got, I'm at Burlington at Vermont Comedy Club. Yeah, and I'm gonna just put a dent in that bed and that ham bone in. And you don't get up until you go do the show. Pretty much. <laughs> Ham bone in. Pretty much. You got the nice beach there, though. Yeah, and on the lake. The, you go get you a maple maple ice cream. Yeah, yeah. Go walk around. Go through the quaintness. Go to that video game bar during the day and yeah. play. set the high score on his Pac-Man for good luck. Go get no, some French no. bagels. No? No, yeah, yeah. No, no. Uh, what else? I mean, I'll, I'll walk and get a meal. Yeah. And I'll maybe, I'll maybe walk around, but I usually don't. Uh, oh, I'm a flex like, uh, Okay, let me ask you this. What yeah. about after the show? Depends. If you don't. Depends. Don't. Depends. Yeah. My day is very like up coffee. Like I need when I'm up in the morning, mm -hmm. I don't want to fucking talk to a soul. Like yeah. I, it takes yeah. me a while to set an open. Like I need an hour and then I can like go. Yeah. Yeah. And then because I like what I I go typically I'll go get a coffee and then I'll go like walk around or go find a gym or something, you know, like yeah. so I'm out. And then after a little bit, I'm social. But even like. Somebody's like, let's meet for lunch. And I'm like, okay, that's my two hours. Oh, yeah. That's two hours, and that's a lot of my time. I don't mean I appreciate that, yeah. you making Absolutely time. Absolutely not. Absolutely or dinner before, not. when people are like, you want to get dinner before the show? I'm Absolutely like, when, not. when did I ever suck that bad on stage where you think you needed to treat me for a meal before yeah. I go on? Well, also, it's like, because, good I don't, God. Like, I don't, there's something about like, I don't try to have lunch with you in the middle of your work day when I'm here. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah like, which I mean, is I don't a little think it's rude. I just, it's not I, rude, but it is like unperceptive to some degree, maybe. I don't know. I don't think, well, but let's all acknowledge that there are people that are fine. Like, yeah, all I have to do tonight mm -hmm. is talk for one hour, maybe two. Yeah. Without being interrupted. Yeah. yeah. And now, two separate I, hours, I, not I even think, back to back. Yeah, <laughs> I think that, I think I became an introvert because. Because of it, like I, th I used to mm -hmm. be like, I want to go out and I want to get in the mix, and now the idea of like social and get engagements like stress me out yeah. more now. Yeah. Like this, this week is fucking wiping when I'm me out. Not when not being like not saying it sucks, but it's exhausting, and when I don't know how to manage groups of people. Even if I know them, I don't know how to hang out. If I'm talking to this person, and then this yeah. person starts talking, and I don't want to be rude, like like after a show. I'm so grateful people buy tickets. I do not know how to manage that social interaction. After yeah. Show. It's difficult for sure. Yeah. Like I, when I'm working and people who are not like perfect, like just friends are like texting mm -hmm. me to hang out if I'm in their city. 
that stresses me the fuck out because I'm just like, especially like if it's like I'm at a festival or something, I'm doing like five days there. Yeah. And they're just yeah. like, we were like, we want to hang out Wednesday. Like, it's like, I don't, I'm at work. Like, you know, like, yeah. you know, like what I want to do is be like, I'm going to stay one extra day and we're going to have a barbecue on Monday. Otherwise I'm not yeah. doing this. Like, mm. cause like, it just, it's too hard. And, and that's I have too what many, I reserve. And I have professional obligations yeah. in these spaces, you know, like, yeah. That's uh, what I that's what I reserve after hours for. Like I'll do after shows I will generally okay. be down to hang. After hours I tell people I'm like come to the show if you can't or if you're not going to uh, then never, then fuck off. We'll never speak again. But I, no, no. But I say like you know, if you come on the show, great. Not afterwards. Hit me up afterwards. I'm, yeah. I am carefree after a show. If I if the yeah. show didn't go 100 percent the way I wanted it to be, I do need whether or not I eat shit or I have the greatest set ever. I need a half hour alone after a set. And There's a like, value. Yeah, give me a half hour yeah, to just talking. Yeah, like to come down. And then I'll hang. And that's the thing, being on the road with David, I'm, you know, with David, with David Cross, um, being on the road with him. Is, yeah, we tried to get him for this episode. David, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, you talk about introvert. That guy is to himself. But he also, when he's not, because he'll have like things he wants to do in every city. And oh, places, really? Oh, you know, he's got, I mean, he's, you know, he's been on the road for 30 years. Yeah. But, you know, he's like, he's got places he wants to go. He's got places he likes to eat. But he also likes to go out afterwards. Like after shows, he's like, let's, let's go. You know? oh, really? So you have your day yeah. to yourself. He yeah, during the day generally he's like, Hey, I'm hanging out, I'm doing my thing and I'm like, Yeah, me too. So every now and again we'll meet up during the day and go eat or go fucking unless it's something like he really wants to do. Like in Chicago, we went to a baseball game. That was pretty fucking cool. He really yeah. wanted to do that. And I'd never been. And now he got I'm, pretty good seats, I saw. Yeah. Batter's box right behind. Yeah, I saw that, every batter's ass. I guess yeah, I think they, I, yeah, I think what, I'd be a little less introverted if I was uh, yeah. you know, had first uh, class access to anything I wanted. It's pretty to rad. Do. Yeah. Pretty, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's well, uh it is weird when you like see an athlete that yeah. close, like oh, a yeah, and they're just right like, there. It's like not even close to like what. Well, like, also when they're standing there like swinging the bat with the little donut shit on it, you yeah. know, and they're like they're doing their warm up stance, and people are just like, fucking, hey, 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 you know, just <laughs> shouting random, like just he 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 heaving insults at and, them. And but, shit. The, but how? But how they don't just occasionally just go fucking eat a dick, you know, just anything because they're just people are shouting shit, and yeah. how they have the composure. To not right. just be like, but fuck you. Part of being an athlete, yeah. I think, is focus. An introvert. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Be an introvert. Well, that's, I like, we got to defend introversion. I think it kept me pretty healthy over the pandemic. I'll <laughs> say that. I did not, uh, I finally got, I finally got COVID after I was like, you know what? I'm still, I'm touring again and these are kind of fun shows. Let me go out and shake some hands and meet some people. That was, that I got COVID. That weekend. That was just like last November. So I made it the two and a half years into it or That's whatever. That's pretty good, man. Finally got it because I started like, oh, I'll mix and mingle. Never again. I <laughs> Wait, November 2022? Yeah. That was your first? Yeah. That was your first taste? Yeah. That's, 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 Damn, that's, that's, bro. that's proof. That, yeah. When did you get it? So Day my three? No, my mom, my, uh, my mother. Mouth kissing people in the sun. Listen. <laughs> listen. <laughs> dude, just 69 in on the six and nah, the nine. It's like once the water <laughs> dried up in the wishing well, Sean went and picked up all the pennies. <laughs> yeah. Like licking all. cab handles. <laughs> <laughs> no, my mom thinks I got it. Like the day, like three days after Christmas, I went down. I, the, there's two things about me, my body that are good. I can digest fucking wood. And my immune system's pretty dope. Okay, right? wait, wait. I don't get stomach issues, and I, my mom, my parents never medicated us. We gotta okay. We we fought. It was what, like digest wood. I can digest wood. Not really. I'm just I'm metaphorically speaking. I've never. I eat you everything. You got a strong gut. I've got a strong gut. I have a great poop schedule. Also, like I. I had pneumonia and my mom didn't give me medicine until it was like absolutely necessary. She's just a very like, nope, your body can handle it. Well, so, she's a nurse. She, yes. she seems like my you immune system. So as a, traditionally, I, if I got sick, it was for yeah. a day and it was never that bad. After Christmas, I went down like I've never gone down. Christmas 2019, like yeah. hard for like four days, like couldn't sit up, vomiting. 2019? 2019. Yeah. And it was in the country by then. Especially a city like New Orleans, where I was visiting. A lot of tourism, a lot of people hanging out. So my mom thinks I got OG COVID, but I know I definitely had Omicron in 2021. Yeah. And I had to, you remember, because we were hanging out. I got it in Portland if, yeah, from Shane I, fucking Brennan. I, Let's well, just throw it out there. I like that <laughs> when it was still like 21, like, all right, we're, yeah. out, right, we're getting ready to go on the, the houseboat trip with Rachel. And yeah. It was one of those like, all right, we're going to, we're doing this, huh? We're all out. 
Yeah. And it's just booze, and he's fucking everybody. I want to hug everybody. Three yeah. triple hugs, triple hugs. We're all fucking yeah. nestled, just m- yeah, m- m- mucus centers to mucus centers. Yeah, and then we're like driving to Utah, and he's like, I got fucking COVID. I got like, it. This adds up. Yeah, this I mean, really adds I do up. remember that because I met yeah. you guys. I flew into Salt Lake, I think, right? Like, yeah, I met you guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but so I, th- that's that's. Uh, I believe that. You would, of course, gotten COVID immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Given your status as what I believe an extrovert. Sure. I, I mean, don't think your three hours a day alone no. was going to keep you safe. Shane right? was the first person I knew who got it in real in, time. In yeah, real time. Yeah, yeah. 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 Shane was the first guy who was like, oh, buddy. Yeah. Are you okay? Texting. That's why people, well, people were Are saying, you okay? Yeah. I knew like it would be, the no. world was scared because, like, yeah. Uh, I told you were close by. Yeah, because I was stranded at Charlene's, and you texted me like, "How you doing?" <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Genuine concern. Yeah, well, but but so I I think like I thrived during the pandemic. I loved it. Stay yeah. home. Don't do anything. Yeah. I liked um oh, <laughs> orders I can follow. <laughs> Let's do it this way. Mission accomplished. Non COVID. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Your f- favorite like where you value being alone when you're being introverted. Yeah. Underrated time. For me, well, really, shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, well, yeah. Take it like just wait. I would know underrated. Where, you think? No value. Like, oh, like, okay. where, like, <laughs> like where you value? Like one where like maybe like one I'm one you don't think of that much. Oh, you don't shit. like to take shits in public. <laughs> Or you know, I, I do because is, I'm alone, but I'm out in public. You don't like to party poop, dude. You don't like to be like hey, everyone. Get up in here, man. One of the last I was times just I was trying to in... find like your favorite introverted moment, but yeah, pooping. <laughs> Pooping's a good one. Can, wait, I know, a, I know, it's a Seinfeld yeah. joke and everything, but one of the last times in New York, I found a clean bathroom and I just sat in there forever. Yeah, I didn't yeah, know. Like, I might have not even had to like. Maybe you got to poop, so I just took my pants off and sat down. But I just sat there, just because it, it was like not people. Yeah, are you guys good at pooping in public? I know a lot of people are poop shy. I'm not at all in no, any way. I can go. Shape, no I'm form. shy, shy. Yeah, I'm poop shy. Shitting yeah. right now yeah. as we speak. Yeah, you guys didn't even notice. <laughs> But yeah, I don't. I know people who can't use public restrooms, and I'm like, that's. I'm sorry. That's that hurts. insane. That man. hurts. That hurts to know that you exist. Oh yeah. I, well, yeah. yeah. Monty would always like leave the bar. Remember our, our mutual pal Monty in Chicago. Yeah. Guys, I'll be right back. I gotta go home and take a shit. You just tell you. <laughs> it's like they're just weird. But uh, I mean, out of all the people in the world, you would think he'd be the guy. Who a goes, guy named Monty. Yeah. yeah. yeah well, I met Monty. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. You know, some people that got their home set up, they like it. Yeah, I get it. But let's go. We're trying to stay on topic, boys. We're yeah. About Introversion. Shit. I like to be. Here's the thing, though. When I when I'm introvert, I like to be introverted. I guess this is I part think you of. Like, the, I think you you value some alone time, but are you scared? Like, are you exhausted by public interaction? I don't think you don't seem to be at all. You seem to be charged up when you're around. People. Could be, could be. So it's, it's, I have my moments. I have my time. I have times where I'm like, I don't want to fucking see anyone. But then that's you know. But that just feeds. Yeah, I do like being around people. I do like, but I also yeah. don't like. It's okay to be there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like this, is, not, yeah. No, this not. isn't an attack on that. It's yeah. not a good or bad thing. It's like we're just introverts. Uh, it's kind of looked at as a negative thing. So that's why we're going to try and be nah. okay with it. That's I, why we got you on. I there. also like introversion in public. If that makes sense. Like I, when I'm, in, I like I staying home is hard for me. Like just yeah. sitting in my apartment all I day don't is like hard that for me. Yeah, but, I like to like get out. Like okay. I can't. I can't, it's very hard for me to write at home. It's very hard. So to, like so all these so things I have are to get an out. extrovert. You might not be interacting, but you're around people. Yeah. There's movement. There's life around. You. I've got a constellation of coffee shops in my neighborhood yeah. that I can hit, and if and all of them have like yards or like private areas. That's where I do a lot of writing. There's a dope at Hancock Park in my neighborhood. Fucking great. I do a lot of writing there, and uh, not her, not Hancock, Herbert Von King, in case you want to come find me and hang out. Uh, <laughs> but I'll be there sitting at the chess table, not playing chess. You know what I mean? That guy. That's about yeah. the most introverted thing you could do. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah I am like, that guy. I sit at one of the chess take a tables. Game for two and put, bring it down uh, to one. <laughs> just one. Well, I'm playing chess that's, with words. I like, I do the coffee shop thing too. <laughs> <laughs> chess with words. I'm losing. I'm losing at chess. I'm not good at it, but. But no, like I, but yeah, I like I, being at home. If I'm at home, I'm just too lazy. I'm just like, well, it's also I have all my distractions at all home, of too. It, like, all of it, all of yeah. it, all of it. Yeah, that's why it's my home, and that's why it's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I you're love, like, but you love being at home, yeah. and then I go into the woods and I ride my bike by myself, 
Yes. I am fine with eating by myself. I always like, eat by myself. I am all I right. Like if I have a night, like if Rachel's out of town and I'm just <clears throat> at home, I'll like make a text of like, hey, what's everybody doing tonight? Knowing full well, like, oh, you're going through the motions. Oh, yeah. And they're going to be like, oh, yeah, we're all going to go out here. I'm like, uh, okay, well, and maybe I'll see you. And then I've like, yeah. wow. I'm like, oh, I don't actually, I don't think I want to do that. I'm like telling myself I want to do that because I'm like, no, you should socialize. I'm like, well, what for? Like, comedy is the only reason. Yeah. Com a comedy show gets me out of the house. Yeah. yeah. To go do like, oh, well, my friends are going to be there. So that's actually the interesting part is I'm going to see my pals. Yeah. And, and maybe there's stage time. But I am so fine with like days on end, not. Talk. Like I can't reiterate how exhausted I am being in New York. Yeah, I I am so. But every aspect of it, just being walking downstairs with people. I'm not like anxiety or gore. I'm just like somebody's hitting me with a backpack or hitting me with a shoulder or a bikes scooters in the bike lane. What the oh, fuck? Buddy, buddy. Like, I'm just like. Buddy. It's too much, yeah. and there's too much all the time. Yeah, it doesn't stop. My room, my hotel room is over where they, like, I'm, this this shouldn't be a New York rant, but it's about like how it's, it's constant. It's a constant pulse, and I think like I know you love it here, you love it here, and I think you thrive off of like it's always something happening and this and that. I like I'm having like, a pulse yeah, around and me. Yeah. I'm like I am. Uh, I am very good at tuning that shit out. Uh, me gonna, too. I gotta admit, yeah. 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 Cause I, I hang myself with my bed sheets like a prisoner. This is fucking misery. I mean, dude, <laughs> I, I, no, I hear you, but I also like, okay, so I, I recently got more into cycling, and yeah, I will. <laughs> I love that you're like, I'm so, you're very into cycling. I don't even and say And you have this fucking e bike thing that you're. you're I don't even it. say cycling. I, I say riding a bike. I, I mean, say I, bike ride. I fucking, <laughs> I fucking, I fucking cyber cycle through the city, bro. And <laughs> when those motherfucking piece of shit motherfuckers on the scooters, Mm. Are in the bike lane. I will talk shit. I will. I actively engage people mm. on the bike. I don't know what it is. On the, as a pedestrian, I can ignore everything. But when I'm riding well, a you, bike, you're scared for your safety yeah, on that yeah, bike. Yeah. Also, just it's a fu you're a fucking dumbass. It's like you're wrong way. That's my. I'm doing that five yeah. times a day on a yeah. bike because yeah. people do that. They come See, down that's the why wrong. I can't, like mm -hmm. that would make me. Also, no me, one's like, gonna. I get like I'm feeling like yeah. I feel acidic right now, but, just yeah, like somebody going bro. down the wrong way. And oh. that's like a road rage type thing. Or oh, yeah. But I'm talking about like just. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. The constant, yeah. it's all structures filled but you with find people. ways to be alone yeah. in spaces here. You find it's easy. I, you're very alone in New York. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. You can be the loneliest place in the world. It's, it's the most densely yeah. populated how city. Dude, in the you can be so lonely, lonely if okay, you want how, to yeah, yeah. I'll tell you. How, how do you do it? How do you well, how like, do it? So I like, you know, I box now and I go to the gym all the time. When I was like, I'm there. I say hi to everybody that you know wants to say hi to me and vice versa. But yeah. then, like, I put in my headphones yeah. and then I go hit the bag for 40 minutes. You know, but like yeah. that's alone. You gotta you follow. Know, like, you gotta follow Shane's yeah. other Instagram account where it's all just <laughs> it's all just him doing power squats, <laughs> beefcakes, <laughs> just, just tees, be, beefy bottoms, yeah. Shaney <laughs> biceps is what they call it. <laughs> cake shop Torres. Yeah. Yeah. But no, that's that, but that's like my alone. Shop. <laughs> that's like an alone time for me where I'm like. Oh, this is good. This yeah. is for me. Everyone else can fuck off. You, like, but that's mentally alone. I mean, physically alone. Where is the last time you don't think anybody's been around? Oh, I mean, that's uh, my like. I'll like. I'm kind of like Sean. Like, yeah. if I'm like, I'll like. I'll spend some time alone in my at my place or something in my in my room. Like, yeah. if I'm not like itching to get worked on that day, I mean. Like, Lay around or whatever. Yeah, yeah but yeah. like, I've been I do have, but yeah. it is not. That happens like for three hours once. Prospect a week. Park, dude. I will yeah. say, if you're a Brooklyn person, yeah. Prospect Park, you can actually walk off in the trails and, and nobody's find, back you there. You can find a tree by Motherfuckers yourself. Motherfuckers are not back there. And yeah. if they are back there, they also want to be alone, yeah. so they don't interact or wave at you or call it, they just go their own way. Yeah, I do love that shit. I do that. That was a okay. godsend. For me during the pandemic too was we live close enough to the park to just kind of like go into it and you'd be like ah nature but yeah. um but even nowadays like I'll take I'll get on the like also phone calls I spent you know you spend a lot of time on the fucking phone as a comedian talking to you know sending emails that shit like that being sending right. emails doesn't feel like you're alone you know that's yeah, no, a fucking that. hassle but I'll take yeah. phone calls and I'll go into the park and I'll just walk off into the woods and that's you know good, you don't yeah. you don't lose coverage 
Because you're and in the so fucking city. So you're still city. communicating. Still communicating, but so I'm... So that's not alone. Yes, yeah, pretty much, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You can't even define alone. No, no, no. <laughs> well, alone. It's when you do something with you just one... You know, when I go and, like, I'm on like a conference call with five other people. Yeah. And like, <laughs> but they're not around. <laughs> that's what they I They don't mean. know. Yeah, that's yeah, what I mean. Like, yeah. I'm like, oh, you, there's... It's a shame we couldn't do this on a Zoom. I can see all your faces. <laughs> I, it's... Yeah, no. But, so, uh, uh, and, uh, and again, it's not it's not a good or bad either way. I, like, I just... I, I It's easy for me to defend introvert. Like, I... I like, like, I let my mind truly wander into weird places, and I sure. think that's where a lot of the comedy comes from. And it's uh, some of it is like eating alone and eavesdropping and stuff, and like oh, I'm still observing people. I love eating but, alone. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'm it's not. Great. I know people think that's one of the no. loneliest things in the no. world. No, 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 no. I prefer it. Like, mm -hmm. I, like. You guys want to get lunch after this? Let's get lunch after this. Yeah. But like, <sighs> having a meal alone, just fucking. No, I, I can just enjoy the food. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, what a fucking treat! Yeah, Ugh. I I don't think. Yeah, I'm into it. Okay, we're all gonna go to three separate restaurants after this. Yeah, yeah. No, we'll go to the same restaurant, but like different. But tables. we're gonna stay. At, yeah, we're gonna stay. At, no. Yeah, we're yeah. Three, the host goes like, "You guys look like you're friends." <laughs> no, no, not sorry. Here. No, not no, here. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. No. You guys want to split it? We'll still split an app though. Well, be so okay, these are like uh, this is how we're doing. We I know we gotta we gotta move to our move through our. Yeah. Segments, yeah, but now we have to go to the positives and negatives of being alone. Okay, okay. after whoever this we're sponsored by this week. I'll tell you what, Shane, I use ExpressVPN because uh, sometimes I travel overseas, even some countries where they don't like you looking at stuff, but you still want to look at stuff. But they won't let you look at the stuff on account of their internet is real restricted. That's where ExpressVPN comes into play. That's why, even when I'm at home, I never go online without it because I don't trust that incognito mode. Incognito, they're still just looking at it, Shane. <laughs> ExpressVPN is an app that reroutes your internet connection through their secure servers so your ISP can't see the sites you visit. ExpressVPN also keeps all of your information secure by encrypting 100% of your data, 100% with the most powerful encryption available. Most of the time, I don't even realize I have ExpressVPN on. It runs seamlessly in the background. It is so easy to use. All you have to do is tap one button, and you're protected. ExpressVPN is available on all your devices, phones, computers, even your smart TV. So there's no excuse for you not to be using it. Protect your online activity today with the VPN rated number one by Business Insider. Visit our exclusive link, expressvpn.com slash NAFT, and you can get an extra three months free on a one-year package. That's expressvpn.com slash NAFT. expressvpn.com slash NAFT to learn more. You look at weird stuff on the internet and you don't want anyone to know. I look at what I want to look at. <laughs> Positivity for introverts. We're each going to say one. Okay. okay. Uh, Kyle, you're first. I mean, I I've, I've thrive. You thrive? Like I you thrive find you're productive? I, well, I am. I, that's my problem. I am lazy. But I like being, like, I straight up live my life, like, the beginning part when Tom Hanks becomes big. Oh, just That's like my, you in a loft. Yeah, just oh, you're you're dancing on keys. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I've just I play my guitars. Yeah, I ride my bikes. Yeah. I'm like fucking around. Like I, okay. and I don't like I don't feel bad about it. You should. But also, you know what? Maybe if I wasn't in a relationship, that'd be different. And then because I think maybe the balance is that I know Rachel like like likes to go out and do things. I'm like, well, that's what we're gonna do together. Yeah. But if I was on my own, I right. again, comedy is my social area, yeah, and I'm not really pining for it elsewhere. But I think being alone like that uh, lets I, I think in in a way it, it lets you be more creative because it's not as much. I, I'm like real self conscious. I guess not self conscious, but in public, like, why are you doing that? Why are you looking? Yeah, like no, this? no, no. Like, oh, I'm like yeah. say when you're by yourself, you can get a little weird. Yeah. Oh yeah. A little man. strange. Make yourself laugh. I like you that. Know, oh, yeah. guys make yourself laugh when you're by yourself. Oh yeah. In the meantime. Dude. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I have a yeah. good time being yeah. being yeah. silly. I entertain myself quite well. Yeah. So. Okay, that's great. Yeah. yeah. Shawnee. Positive things of, of yeah. being introverted. Uh, I said it earlier uh, in a moment, but like I, 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 my shit get my 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 brain cords get real tangled a lot, real fast, real easily, which is a bummer because that's just how, but that's just how my head works, uh, and that's uh, that's also where you know I find a lot of the comedy and creativity can come. 
but also it does need to be the cords. It all needs to be untangled every day so that it can tangle up again cleanly. If that makes sense. You think you're like, yeah, yeah. Like mentally you're healthier by spending time alone for a bit. Yes. And like it, it's a, like, it's a mental health sort of yeah, like, you're more like, social. A, like a basically like my, it's like, I need to iron the brain waves yeah. so that they're no. they're presentable in my own head and then they can get as wrinkly and crazy as they Gotta want. Iron the brain waves. Iron the brain waves, man. You <laughs> yeah, know? I got iron them with a couple of yeah. shots of tequila. Or or it's just like I feel like I feel like my my fucking thought process is like a garden where everything grows real fast mm -hmm. and it constantly needs to be weed I'm and you weeding. can't do that if you're I'm talking constantly about, yeah. mentally that, weeding. No, that's, that makes so sense. that all the other things can grow and you know be great. But like yeah. it's if I don't do that, I it's it, you can tell being emotionally organized. Yeah. If you ever see me during the day where I am just, or if, if you ever run into me at a party or at a fucking after a show or at night and I seem scatterbrained as fuck, it's because I haven't had many a long time. Yeah. It's hard. It can be real hard to like, uh, you well, seem scatterbrained a lot. <laughs> I do. Yeah. I don't get a lot of alone time sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, get, I get a little terrified after, like, it's like usually yeah. it's after shows. Cause like, after shows are different because no. people talking at you, not with you. So oh, yeah. yeah. This yeah. is not. This is not a lack of gratitude. For no, 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 of course not. No, no. Of course it's one hundred percent. Please, please no, yeah. if no. anybody's watching, it's not an arrogance, or I don't want to. It's like no. I don't know how to deal with the people afterwards. Yeah. So, like we were saying after show, it's like, yeah, I gotta. I'm not gonna be able to do this. I said right. all the thoughts I have. I don't have anything left, that's, um, left in the tank. Right. That's, yeah. After the shows is difficult. Like the, it's weird to say this, but like. I never sold merch for years, and I think yeah. I was talking about to you, with you about this. Now I sell shirts after shows. It helps me find a way to like thank them and have yeah. gratitude, whether they buy something or not. Yeah, you yeah. know, like it's like thank you so much for coming. Like, uh, yeah. and the 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 line for the merch typically serves as like a good like indicator of like, yeah, of course we'll take a picture, but like let me get through like yeah, like, yeah, yeah. these kind of stuff. It helps me figure out how to be more extroverted after a show because it's hard for me to like yeah. it's organized it, yeah, I'd yeah. it's I'd like love a to bit of a that, training you know like almost the step in picture thing like what they, they call it step in what a step and repeat yeah it feels like gross and insincere to it me. feels so manufactured I, I, I don't yeah. want to do that yeah. to people yeah. i want to appreciate the value like it's like i'm a cardboard they, cutout yeah. yeah they well and they made a They've made you valuable by like t giving them, yeah. you like taking your art in and then also giving you their time and coming in and watching you, you know, yeah. like, so you want to be sincere when you're taking pictures with every single person. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to yeah. be shitty. Like, there you go. Get moving. Yeah. You hey, fucking you won the raffle. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. That shit. Like, cause we know people who do that and it sucks. Yeah. My positive introverted thing, by the way, oh. drinking alone. I don't do oh. it all the time anymore. But yeah. a couple of good drinks at a bar by yourself in your notebook, same kind of thing. Yeah. yeah but like, yeah. just like, okay, I'm going to get this down. Maybe I'm working tonight. Maybe I'm not. But like, I don't want to talk to anyone. This bartender knows that I do not want to talk to them. Yeah. 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 Uh, God, I, I love it. Like, I like, I don't do it all the time anymore, but like a couple drinks and like feeling productive and writing. I like that. After a couple of drinks, do you start to get the, like the, Hey, how's it going? No. See, mm -hmm. I, that's where yeah. I will. Yeah. Yeah. That's Same. the grease to get me to hang out. Yeah. When, yeah. I, if, when I take breaks from drinking. Not if I'm alone. Like, if I'm with, mm -hmm. if you guys were around, I'd be like, yeah, I'll go drink with those guys. But, like, the no, regular like, bartender. No, if I'm drinking in a bar yeah. by myself, which I do like that. But yeah. then after a few, there's always like a, eh, cool shoes. Yeah. Just, yeah. just something to like, it's surface level. It's not going to be anything deep. But then I'm like, then after a few... But that's the thing. I have to drink to get to that point around people. I'm not yeah. going to be. I can't catch me on a different day. Some some days I got it. Yeah. But most days, I won't drink. I won't drink at home by myself. Well, actually, I took you. Once. I never do that either. Actually. Yeah, I don't drink at home. But I don't. I, I drinking by myself can be difficult because I'm like that. I get very. It's like. But yeah. there who's, is a who's my best friend. Right. There is a bar <laughs> here that I've taken you to with Isaac in yeah. the East Village. Uh, called the Cherry Tavern, which is one of the I know, few. It's, it's yeah. Good spot. yeah, that's a per, that's a great spot for me when I've got time to kill between sets, and I'm like, I just want to have one, and write a little bit. And I'll go there, and that place is great because I've probably been there a dozen times in the past year, never mm -hmm. seen the same bartender. Awesome. I feel like it's just a turnover. Yeah. Like they just they like they only work one I or two to. shifts. But it's funny because I don't know how you are when people ask because it happens. They're like, "What you writing?" People ask uh, me what I'm writing, and I will never, ever. Same rules as if I'm. People ask me what I do, and they don't know. I'm like, I'll never say writing jokes. No, you can't tell. People never. You're I'm like work, but I, but then like so. Oftentimes I just be like, I'm just working out ideas for this novel I'm writing. 
Uh, I just uh, say um, journaling. Journaling? No, no, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. See, see, journaling, ah, that's good. Because, that, like, you know, yeah. every, like, it's a very, like, thing like, oh, yeah, that's me. I've been meaning to do that more. Like, oh, good. You should, man. It's good for me. Gotta oh, get back to it. it. You know, like, and then, like. It's my kid's obituary. God yeah. damn it. Oh, 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 yeah, oh. That's good. <laughs> oh. Listen. I'll leave you alone. After yeah, yeah, yeah. The last thing I'll ever write, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Suicide note, another round. Yeah. <laughs> it's a novel I'm working on about a guy trying to mind his own business, but a uppity <laughs> fucking bartender won't let him just have okay. his Jameson. Yeah. <laughs> now let's, let, let's round table before yeah. we get to the calls. All right. Negativity on your introversion. We'll go with Sean. Uh, I, I can really breathe life into some insecurities. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? Oh, uh, yeah. I can, I can, I can really know. fucking right. clear, yeah. bring some fucking demons yeah. to life. Yeah. Hey, what's you that know? twitch? Oh, it must be deep vein thrombosis. Or really? Yeah. I, oh, no, oh. Or, or more so like, whoa, wow. I, wait, did I text? I texted Kyle three days ago and he hasn't responded. Fuck, did I piss him off? I probably yeah. pissed him off. A lot of social How did I piss ones, him yeah. off that yeah. time, though? Fuck, I guess that one time he asked me if I wanted to drink and I, I said no. And then he gave me that look of like, oh, okay. And I was like, what? And I busted his balls a little too, maybe too hard? Fuck, do I bust people's balls too hard? Am I an asshole? Wait a second, I'm not a fucking ass. I am an asshole. You just described Jesus weed Christ. for me. And then just, <laughs> That's yeah. what marijuana better, does. Yeah, time. same here, but. Then, I don't want to seem weird. Wait, I'm just meeting everyone. Later, and then and later like, on the night, yeah. I see you, are like, hey, I know this is out of nowhere, but. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Did I? Yeah. Did I bust your balls too much? Then, then, yeah. next thing, then next thing you know, I'm like, Mom, like calling my parents. <laughs> it's like, yeah. like, I was a fucking asshole that one time when I stole your van. That was. But, uh, yeah, I end up, I'll, I'll not all the time, but I can walk some dark paths if I'm by myself unchecked. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But also, that's why I don't smoke weed much either. Same yeah, thing. weed does that. Weed just gives me roller skates on those paths, you know? <laughs> just get there quicker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'm by myself, and I... <clears throat> Really, I I just enjoy my time. You don't have an, any negative in this space. Uh, nothing <laughs> off the whacking off too much. Yeah, <laughs> Coming I'm, too hard. Well, guilty of that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, some somebody. Yeah, I wish there was some. Wouldn't feel good if it wasn't guilty. Yeah. There's <laughs> something about the uh, the the feng shui layout of a hotel room which immediately makes one horny. <laughs> like that, I wasn't even I wasn't even thinking about uh, sex. That and the <laughs> office is on TBS. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. fuckers, just I, go to town. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I. I mean, obviously, it's like especially for comedy, where I'm like, oh, there's moments where saying hi to the door guy or something is the first thing I'll say to a person. Oh yeah. Say. Oh yeah. No, I mean, like, I usually oh. say hi to a barista is like the first person I talk to. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then I'm done. Yeah. yeah, but there is something to be said about like, oh, I'm I'm a little. I'm loose. I'm a little great as opposed to I haven't even spoken today. And now here's an hour of my thoughts. I could have loosened up a little yeah. bit. I nope. could have like got no. out some verbal stretching and mental. Th just, yeah. just been part of the day. Been been in the sunlight. Yeah. Sometimes no. I don't. Yeah. Sometimes I don't leave the room. Yeah. Like just even had like an interaction with someone in a park. Yeah. Or, yeah. I'm, get, I'm getting better about like leaving okay. the room yeah. and getting some food, maybe using the hotel gym and yeah. And like, and again, I don't know if it's, is it laziness or is it like, I just like, like before coming here, I just laid in bed because I just heard all the stuff on the street and all the noise oh, yeah. and people. And I'm like, not yet. Eh, I'm I mean, going to be kind of in a place there. where you're, 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 you're like, ex at this point, you're a bit exhausted of it stuff. Yeah. Though. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. So it's a little, I think that's a touch. I, and I think maybe I'm mixing up being an introvert with being, a, I'm just more of a homebody now yeah. these days. Because now it's like, oh yeah, am I, I, am I losing my hustle? Because like, all right, mm. I'm headline. I think like, I, okay, this is getting even deeper into it that I was thinking about today. That maybe like, oh, I, you know, I'm here and everybody's hustling and moving all the time. And you got the X amount of spots a night and X amount of spots a night. And then I go, I work the road, I come out, I got five spots tonight. I got this, I got five podcasts during the day. And I'm like, Oh, I don't want this life at all. Yeah. I want, like, I really like, like, maybe I'm not going to be superstar comedy, but, oh, this just turned into the same hustle that this is just a 50-hour work week again. And then you get a couple days off or something. Like, oh, that's what I tried to avoid becoming yeah. a comedian. Yeah. Was have all this free time. And then, like, oh, where's that free time? Oh, it's not there. <laughs> like, oh, no. It's okay to be like... Cool. I did a couple weekends, and I'm gonna take uh, two weeks off this month. Well, also, yeah. I think I do. I, I I'm with you on this because I do. Uh, I was talking about this on, uh, but another podcast. But 
Um, one, of the, one of the other seven I was doing tonight. No, I'm kidding. Uh, yeah. I don't do that. I don't do that. Man. But there is, I do believe at a certain point, there's something, there's quality of stage time over quantity. Yeah. And quality stage time is better than quantity of stage time. I, like, I pass that line yeah. a little too much, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I, but I, I don't do it to myself anymore. Like, I don't, I try and take like nights off. Sure. I, out. And I still will have my, like, whoa, that's a lot yeah. for a night I forgot. But then at the mm. same time, like, because that's not, you're, I'm with you on this. Like, sometimes when you have those, like, six spot nights, the only person who's impressed by that are the other comedians who don't have that many spots. Because I don't need to prove that kind of shit it to myself anymore. It needs to be productive. Yeah, outside. Uh, yeah. It, but it's it can not, be a financial gain, though. It can but. be a financial gain, but it's also like it's never truly that. You're never really that productive when you've got six spots and you're like, fuck, wait, I got to flip this one and then it was you're a on stage. You're thinking, it's a fit. You're like, God damn head. it. Yeah. And it's you're a like, physical yeah. accomplishment. Yeah. 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 Versus like when you've got. Like, I like to have a few nights where I have three or four that are spaced out. And I'm like, okay, cool. I can have an hour you got, between you got an these two to like. You got eight at, and two in the 10, one yeah. at eight, two in the 10 o'clock hour, and then one at like midnight or something. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. And you yeah, have time to fucking, nice. time to yeah. think. But when yeah. it's like, if you're just getting stage and you still time, have a little just bit of alone time, time in time, that space. Yeah. yeah. Uh, some, yeah. Just getting up there just to get up there, I don't think is healthy at a certain point. No, it's not. I don't think it helps. You know, I think I think it's it's like it's like anything. Like, okay, you box now, you work out. You can also do horrendous damage to your body if you do it too much, and then you can't use it anymore. Not my body. Yeah, let me tell you what, buddy. <laughs> you got to do. You got to. Ain't gonna, ain't gonna yeah. do nothing. This body I ain't done to it. You got to. Got a couple layers of soft armor, <laughs> like myself. <laughs> you know, it keeps you fucking healthy. No, I get, yeah, I, I agree. Like you can overdo it. Whereas I think, like a guy like you, because you're a guy who, when I see on stage, I never. And but there are comedians I've seen on stage where I'm like, damn, someone got rusty because they clearly. Haven't been on stage in a while. Yeah. You've never been that guy. Oh, I, 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 I've never seen you be rusty. You, you're always pretty sharp as like, canine, canine time. Bang, that joke just punched you in the gullet. You're not I, doing that. But I don't, yeah, okay. Yeah. Like, well, that's it, you know. It's Kyle Canine electrifying you with a bit. It's the traffic on BQE right <laughs> yeah. but, Hey, there's a jam up on the 405. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But I also Funny think though. that, like, the version of you that is doing 20 spots a week and over overcrafting it yeah. is not the version of you anybody wants to see. You, what you There's do no, now is like, pff, that's Kyle. Quit. But again, to yeah. speak to the introversion thing, it's like, I'm really valuing the being at home. I'm going to do comedy. It feeds I'm going to be a stand-up. Yeah. But I'm not, I might not do as much that I need to do to be, to get to that next level. Like, I'm pretty happy with the level that I'm at. Yeah. Even though yeah, some people might look at it like, oh, I know it's great. Yeah. But, you know, if you get, listen to the people of, uh, fucking... He's not this guy. He's not that guy. And I'm like, yeah, but so what? You don't understand that there's levels also, of, of what success is. And my success is yeah. living a life that nobody's going to know about. That's that, my success is like, yeah. Oh, there's you know a what? value you, in that in the world we're in today where yeah, everything yeah. You know is what? online. You know what yeah. you didn't see on Instagram? Yeah. The great week that I had yeah. that made me happy. Yeah, yeah. Because well, I'm you, not going to put it on And you there. weren't putting it on Instagram because you were too busy living and experiencing it. That's my argument, too. It's like, if your life is so great, you wouldn't constantly need to project, put it on no, fucking line like it's a, it's a for people to... Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm yeah. with you on it. And also, the, the, the people we're talking about, who I know you're talking about, it, this is no insult to them, but to no. be a certain level of comedian, you have to turn your entire fucking life into a reality show. You're like a little mini Truman shows. And like, mm. where you're, everything you're doing, you're constantly putting it out there. And these are people I like, who people I respect, yeah. and, and good I'm, comics too. Good comics, but, yeah. Yeah. but they also have zero privacy. Their life is a hundred percent out there in the world. There's a there ton are, of shit online. People online. know yeah. their kids' names. You yeah, know what I mean? It's yeah, like it's... I, I, that's just a lot. That's just a lot. Yeah, and it's, but, but, I, but know, for some people, it's not. For some people, yeah, it's yeah, not. Like some people are happy there, yeah. and I agree. Like for me, I'm nah. like trying to find out what that's. Yeah, it's for me. It's not going to be that much. But yeah. it's definitely be more than what you're doing. I think you know, like then, like yeah. where you. For like, yeah. I need to level it up into some space, but I don't know exactly where it would be. Yeah, I, I, but because I, I also don't think about doing like when we're doing something fun together, or like yeah, we're yeah. All, I go to, I'm not, I don't think about ever if I'm taking a picture. My first thought is never for social media. It's like just to take the picture. You yeah, know, like, and now it's like, oh, I should post that. I guess I, I leave. You know, like, I leave it at the office. Yeah. 
I believe that's the old timey term. Hey, leave yeah. it at the office. Yeah, you know, leave it on the field for yeah. the sport for the yeah, athletes. Yeah. Whatever metaphor about like, yeah, yeah. Work, work stays at work. Hey, don't open the pastry case. Is what I say. You know what I mean? Hey, hey, shut <laughs> the fridge. Don't you know what I mean? The pastry case. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey, so hey, hey. Your close your boxing gym is called the pastry. <laughs> the pastry case. case. Yeah. <laughs> the cake, the cake <laughs> you gotta fight off all these sweets. <laughs> um, I don't. Oh, here, take a pair of these sausage rolls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. But I also think that like that's where. You got the good, that's where great material comes from, too. It's like, oh, I'm not just constantly taking everything and putting it out there for you to see. I'm taking it, experiencing it, shaping it into a thing I'm going to yeah. tell you later that is going to be better than the actual thing that you that I could have just showed you as a clip that I experienced I if, it. I think if I'm like, guilty of yeah, anything, yeah. it is like overworking yeah. and like not letting stuff breathe enough you know like i sure. kind of my, i make the mm -hmm. i make the dough without proofing it i'll roll it out all the time but i yeah, yeah like i should do more of that well uh, i mean also like yeah there's breathing there's... like finding more space to be a little more introverted because i'm like i mean i think we were talking like i mean i think i if i don't i feel like if i don't do like no. two spots a night on an average for a weekly basis then do you ever have a night off I force yeah, myself to take a night off. Yeah, like I'll every, take a night yeah. off, but like what I mean is like one, a, if one I week. Do, I need to have average two a night. Yeah. yeah, for the week. So, so you'll do ten spots on Monday <laughs> <laughs> and sleep for four days. <laughs> <laughs> it's the weekend. Yeah. I'm not sure that's yeah. healthy. My re yeah. my record is nine. That was my record for a night. And I've done it twice, and it was too much. It was too yeah. much. Yeah, both I, times I, it was like I did. This is too much. You're think, stressed by the time you get to set. My record is like eight yeah. or somewhere, I think. And then like, like the first set's fun and the last set's fun, but everything in between is like, fuck, do I have time? Shit, how am I going to fuck, fuck? And you're like. Do you give yourself a little award? Do you make a little ribbon for yeah, yourself? Yeah, you drink yourself into a fucking coma. You're like, yeah, and you're like. And you blow all. And you have a lot. Of the, that thing is like, that's what's weird. Is like, you really yeah. have the, yeah. did I already do this oh, yeah. on this show? Uh, Especially if you're performing in the same room twice in one night. Yeah. It's kind of like that thing of like, uh. It's the same exact feel like you ever go to a movie theater when it's light out and then you come out and it's dark and you're like, yeah. this feels a little bizarre. No, yeah. yeah that's wow. Like, oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, nah, but at the same time. Yeah, I think you guys are not introverts. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's hear from some introverts who were lonely enough to call this show, right? Oh, we got a commercial some... break. <laughs> I, like I, made the, I made the Instagram post like, introverts, speak out. Be like, <laughs> That's not what introverts are like. Uh, that was the joke. It's still, <laughs> it's still comedy yeah. based. Introverts, join us. Yeah. <laughs> Rise up. That's not what introverts do. Because everyone has a sense of humor. Everyone should create content. Well, they should Even though content them. can't be created or destroyed, to, so to call yourself a content creator is insulting to the Lord our God. I'm just saying it. Content's not art. That's what I say. We'll be right back after this word from our sponsor, Warhol Galleries. He made a lot of stuff. Yes! Let's hear from the litter box! I don't even know if I am an introvert. Um, I don't talk to my neighbors. I even have a lot in common with one of my neighbors. He loves cars. He's restoring an old <clears throat> El Camino, and it's fucking sweet. And I do not want to talk to him. I just want to go look at his car. And the fact that he's there is a bummer. But then I'm also great at parties. I don't know. I think this guy just hates his but neighbor. Then again, if I think I'm great at parties, does that mean I'm not? Damn. Gunshot. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, if you know what you're about, be an introvert. Sounds pretty cool. Take it easy. I do. I will agree with this guy. I just want to go look at that guy's sweet ass car and yeah. not have him there. Hundred percent. Like you're just like I don't know if that makes you an introvert, yeah. but it makes you definitely not interested in that person. Yeah, you don't like that dude. But also a neighbor that's just by himself fixing his car in his garage, probably gonna be pretty safe just sipping a beer going pretty sweet. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. Like I think well, you might actually have something to talk to that person about if you're both car guys and you're like, yeah, oh, exactly. Like take the introverts. manifold or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Introverts can get along. Again, it's not this. Once I found the definition, it's, it's not just, antisocial. No, no, you get no. your you get your energy from either being around people or being by yourself. Yeah, right. So where some people feel alive at a party, some people are like, I am exhausted a half hour into mm -hmm. being at this party. I was the former. I'm now the latter. 
if it's just my friends that I know and it's mm-hmm. not going to be an effort, yeah, then it's fine. You got a sim. I think you should talk to your neighbor, buddy. Go on, yep. go on, kick it with him. El Camino's our suite. Oh, he said he had an El Camino. Yeah. I was about to ask said, what yeah. kind of car. It was like a sweet yeah. minivan, dude. Fucking yeah. El Camino's our kick ass. Yeah, they are fun. That's Why only don't... a two seater. That guy's an introvert. He's not even yeah. making yeah. something that's got four yeah. seats in if it. If he's got more than one person, he wants him to ride in the that back where he can't talk. Yeah. That other seat's just for my six friends. These beers. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah that's what you're doing in El Camino. Yeah. yeah, I think you're all right, buddy. Hope your brother's El Camino runs forever. Yeah. All right, who's next? Hi, big fan of the show. Thank you. Uh, first, I want to say hi to Charlene. I feel like a lot of people don't, sometimes callers don't say hi to you at all. Pause it real quick. do a lot of the research. For- <laughs> this woman is an introvert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like, right, yeah. Just <laughs> intro tone, <laughs> introvert yeah, tone. We love Charlene, even though she's taking these episodes off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll I just love with- that she's like, I want to say hi to the person people don't say hi to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just credit where credit's due. Yeah, she's the, the podcast, best. so. Appreciate you. Oh. Um, hello, Shane. Hello, Kyle. Yeah. Kyle, I'm a huge fan. Sorry, I'm going to say sorry in advance for being one of your Bay Area stalkers, but I saw you both at Cobbs uh, this year or last year, this year, <laughs> and at uh, Cobbs for Sketchfest, and I beat you to the door at the Golden Bowl and got to meet you. So oh, yeah, that made my year. Yeah. Uh, so, introverts. I am Hold an on, real pause real quick. Kyle, I'm a huge fan. Thanks. Not all about you, man. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, I fucking hope she's alone. And just want to say I think it's something that's okay. Um, usually most introverts figure out that they're introverted when they're younger, and I feel like a lot of people think that they can outgrow it. But some of us don't. Um, I'm 43, and I feel like when you're an older introvert, you find ways to maneuver life as someone who likes to kind of be alone sometimes. One thing is I like eating at restaurants by myself. Hey. And mm, we got you. to avoid those uncomfortable interactions with servers who always seem kind of shocked that you're there by yourself. One of my new introvert hacks is I love using those restaurant reservation apps that show you what types of tables are available. So I like going and getting counter seats so I can comfortably go to a restaurant yeah, and eat by myself and not have oh. servers come up. And and I've had this happen to me more than more than once where a server will just stop and tell me, you know, it's okay. You want to eat by yourself. Um, <laughs> that being said, though, for Fuck if you're not server. an introvert, yeah. if you have any introverted friends, um, just know that not all of us don't necessarily like being alone all the time, we still like being invited to yeah. things and going to social gatherings. We just don't like to talk. So don't ignore your introverted friends because they still have been invited oh, to Good things. advice. So, yeah, good, that's good my opinion. take on being an introvert and an elderly, <laughs> older that introvert. You're not, you're not elder. Come Come you're a Thank child. Thank you. Big fan of the show. Love you guys. Thank you. Yeah, I do I remember. Liked her. What was she yeah. saying? What kind of tables at the restaurant? I didn't Counters. Know. Counter seats. Countertops. Oh, okay. Yeah, also, up. also, I've never, maybe because I'm a very a confidently introverted person, or confidently quiet, but I've never had a server look at me weird no. when I walk in there. I'm like, table for uh, one. I, I think I would, I think and they'll lady, ask table or bar, I say one. by herself. Yeah, I guess that is a little more. Like, yeah. How dare a woman die? What an old, an old, that, yeah. what do they call him? An old crow. Yeah, or, that's what I would say. The razor pointed like when she figured, she, when she said about kids who find it, figure out they're introverted young mm-hmm. and they'll outgrow it. It's like not necessarily a bad thing. I yeah. like, I liked that. Like I like that. She's like you're like. This is just how this person is. They're not unhealthy. They don't need to socialize all the time. Like yeah, a yeah. You want to be a D&D that was kid yeah. or a video game yeah. kid or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's yeah. all right. Or a scientist or a fucking yeah. Yeah. astrophysicist. But, and also, the other thing, though, was she's like, yeah. your introverted friends, you know, still like being invited to stuff. It's like, that's a little tricky because sometimes you're like, well, I, I keep trying. I'm not going to try anymore. I, you know, like, it's a good point. Sometimes, but it is a fair point. It doesn't mean they don't want to come, too. Yeah. I got friends. It's like I never think to invite them to a gathering uh, because I never even realize they're at the gathering when they are there. Yeah. So what? They like being around and just watching. They don't have to. It's. It, I mean, I, I mean, the socializing is the sport. They're just in the sure. stands. Yeah. Yeah. If That's this, a good if point. This episode can get more yeah. metaphor heavy. Yeah. Heavy. It can. Uh, yeah. We got you got one metaphor. Uh, I mean, this episode itself is like a balloon filling with water. It grows in size and 
Smart move, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gra- and, gra- and gravity, hey, hey, hey. and gravity uh, pulls it down. And some person, when it will burst, and we will all be wet. Next caller. Yeah. <laughs> and Kinane, uh, long time listener, first time caller, uh, introvert. I like them. Yeah. Uh, mostly because when you get to see them out in public, it makes whatever you're doing that day a little bit more special. It's like a little, little stamp in your memory, and I like it. Um, but yeah, um, that's pretty much it. They're kind of like deer people. Just, you know, approach them quietly. <laughs> and, you know, they're just going to be nervous all the time. <laughs> I don't like um, deer people. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, shout out POV Comedy and Lagster. Uh, yeah, no. Okay. Oh, oh then, he pl- then he plugged his show. Uh, that's fine. Uh, that's all right. Yeah, that's yeah, I, like, I, like, I like deer people. Deer people. Like, yeah, like yeah. Deer people. I like deer people. Yeah, yeah. 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 Smoked them. Yeah. <laughs> Take them down with a bow How about from 150 yards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Careful now, yeah. son. Yeah. You want to aim for the heart. Yeah. Keep jumping out in front of my car in the mountains. <laughs> mount, mount their head on a wall after you, after you clean them. Like, Turn the lights on. They froze with fear. I yeah. like that he likes... In, he's yeah. not an introvert, but he likes seeing them do their thing in the wild. Yeah, that guy yeah. sounded like he was on a skateboard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like hey, it, man. man. Yeah, yeah. Do, do, doing something by yourself? Right on, buddy. Good yeah. for you. Yeah, Keep yeah. it up. Yeah. <laughs> Good on you. Stay lowly. I like that. It's like you're going fishing with no pole and no ocean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, extrovert complimenting introverts. It usually doesn't go that way. It's usually introverts I think are jealous of extroverts. Dear people. Good like, call. Thank I like you, this thank guy, you, yeah. Buddy. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go to another one. Hey, guys. Um, so speaking as a lifelong introvert, I guess, who's always kept a small circle, um, it's not a bad way to live uh, in this day and age. Like, you have a thousand exit strategies. If I'm at a party and I don't want to be there anymore, I've got Uber. If I don't want to have to wait in line at a restaurant, I've got DoorDash. Um, most importantly of all, I want to just highlight and just give the Hall of Fame uh, introvert holiday to the pandemic because, honestly, you guys got to experience a big part of my life, which is everyone's got to stay six feet away from you. You don't got to look anyone in the face. You don't got to touch anything. It was awesome. I, I actually kind of miss it. I know people were dying, but holy shit, I actually kind of miss just being able to crash at home and just hang out and play all the video games I haven't played since I was a kid. Anyways, love the podcast. See you. Uh, Man. Yeah, dog. Yeah. You probably still do all those things, though. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. But now I don't think we need to lose six that, million yeah. dollars. Well, but yeah, now yeah. people yeah. ask, like, what's wrong with you? I, I like like the things that you would criticize that like people say are, are making society more uh, separated. Yeah. He's actually like, oh, yeah, but for an introvert, like, finally I can get the food I want at midnight and I can uh, dip yeah. out of this party without, like, Very is my ride here? What do I have uh, to do to get home? Like, also, the articles of, like, do humans even talk anymore? Text, phone, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Never written by an introvert. Yeah. yeah, like, yeah it's always yeah. written by an extrovert who no, needs something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I, we got to, the articles that make us think it's bad or the pieces of news that make us think it's bad to be an introvert. Yeah. Are, on, are from an extroverted perspective. <laughs> Some guy nobody wants to talk to anymore. Yeah. Nobody calls anymore. They just don't she, call you. never <laughs> shut up. There should Steve. be an Irish goodbye, the app, <laughs> where you just, you just click on it and say, leave right now. That's it. it just, it's, just, it's, it's like yeah. the equivalent of a woman on a date yeah. that has her friend like... Uh, <laughs> Call, Te- text yeah. me at nine o'clock, and uh, oh, I'll yeah. be like, "Oh, my friend's sick. I gotta go." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that, I need to yeah. dip. Yeah, that'd be fun. You can change the Irish uh, exit app. Oh yeah, but you, like has different. Like this time, you're like, "I had too much to drink." Yeah, or, yeah. left or, the gas on. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Or it's like heat censored, so it can sense how many people are in their in your surroundings, and it's like in three minutes, turn south, <laughs> walk away. You know, because like because that. Have you ever been Irish goodbying? And then walked right into a group group of people as they were oh, arriving, my. and you're like, "Hey, no, I was yeah, my, no, I got I just got to make a phone my, call." My if Irish I make it out, yeah. last forty five minutes out of politeness. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like I've like if I'm doing yeah. the goodbyes, oh, yeah. And I walk into another group, I'm like, "I'm done. I'm out, guys." Like, can I also I, say I, I get really like yeah. I'm skipping out. I also though appreciate the Irish goodbye from the perspective of someone who's being Irish goodbye. When someone's just gone, I'm like, "Okay, I get it. You're out. No peace." I've been yeah. so much more sensitive about doing the Irish goodbye than anybody has felt if it's been done. Like, oh. where's so and so? Like, no. They just left. I mean, with like, you, though, I've known you long enough to know if you're just not around anymore, it's like, he did it. He, Kyle did it. 
You're like powder. You're like that Iran, and you got shocked by the electricity and taken to heaven. Okay. Remember that movie? Uh, yeah, I thought you were going with looks. On no, 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 no. You're like uh, powder didn't have beard. Albino, uh, but, no, albino Jesus. But you're, you're like, you're, like if you're just gone, I'm like Kyle's gone. He's he left. There's he a, does his thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, and that's okay. I think the only time I really get concerned on the Irish goodbye is when like I showed up with them. Oh sure. Yeah, like uh, the, if it's, if that's it's, a little like, hey, I'm out. If you, if I get a hey, I'm out, sh- yeah. then I'm fine. Like, well, like, this if is you, why if I don't roll with yeah, someone. This is why I don't roll with people. This is yeah. why I swear to God, it's so I I travel in solo. I'm a solo guy. I'm like, I'll meet you there. I'll see you there. I'll catch you later. I do not like moving in groups. Like going out. To dinner with you and that and like all the the other night when we went it was like a group of us comics yeah. after a show, that is even hard for me sometimes because and we got the mild version of like when we sit down and one person's not there yet and it's like should we order now or should we wait and ha- and it was like split down the middle it was like order now yeah it'll be fine that can create anxiety and, and I'm like too, yeah. ah, I'd rather just be eating by myself but it, yeah. that, that that one turned out okay but like it was a fun hang but yeah. yes I I, I can hundred percent say like oh where Steve's on his way it's like. Yeah. And it was handled like I sent him a picture of the, and I was like, pick pick your food right now. Pick your food, we're ordering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But also yeah. like, or if you're late, yeah. like go ahead and order, guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or like, I mean, and I'll, I whatever, I'll copy. But depending this. on people to be yeah. that socially graceful, yeah, comics, all the time, comics to be, uh, yeah, so it's a little sure. feelings. Yeah, like like I'm gonna be right there. I was like, well, no, we're move, ordering now. Move like, it doesn't matter how f- yeah. unless you're here now. That does you're not going to be here. It fast does say enough. something. Being considerate of others and being a comedian, they're not mutually yeah. exclusive, but they no. don't overlap too often. No, not no, no. not in like a mean spirit way of like oh, but socially they, they 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 there's some space between. Yeah, but if yeah, I'm yeah. ever like if, if the roles are ever reversed and I'm on my way to meet a group that's already there, I know my I would be like. Order for me. Fuck it. Like I do That's not want like, yeah. yeah, I, I, I do don't want to delay the I would process. Say like, yeah, don't wait on me. Just get me whatever Never you're wait having, on me. or I'll say like, yeah. like, just not fish. Like, or you know, like I make. Mean, I don't even hear, like, folks. Just not fish. Uh, Mike, do we have time for one more call? <laughs> Somebody wants to get back hey to guys, his iPhone. Uh, um, I'm a big introvert. I will not go to events. Unless I absolutely have to, or unless people are actually doing something fun, like I don't know, yeah, that's just surfing or going to go mountain biking or go for a run or swim or just, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't go outdoors when it's raining. A crowd of people. I'm either sitting awkwardly by myself, or I start to talk and then end up just realizing that I made everything awkward for everyone else and also myself. So yeah, no. most <laughs> times I'm in a large group of people. It's just me running out the clock and trying not to ruin whatever conversation. Oh, um, where in comparison, the first time I made out with the lady I later married, we were watching Rambo and eating pizza by ourselves. And that's pretty much what we've been doing ever since okay, the last 15 married. years. So I'd say, especially if you've got that one other person in your life, why would you ever go out and be with another group of people? Thanks. I that was a that was a real up and down kind Ooh. of vibe. <laughs> yeah. Well, For some of you know whether we're eating pizza and watching Rambo. Yeah, man, that sounds. I mean, it sounds rad. Yeah. yeah. And also, you yeah, know, just waiting and just making conversations awkward. That's where the alcohol comes in. So you don't remember that you made it ten times more awkward. Well, also, uh, learn from your mistakes. You know, I feel mm-hmm. like if you can say I make conversations awkward, you can also figure out how to undo there's that. Some, yeah, there's some like truth. that's a big thing with me. Whenever yeah. people are like that's just the Irish in me, I'm like, then stop it happening. Yeah, then. if oh, you yeah. can identify oh. the problem, well, you then if know, you have a kid like Mary, then Italian. change the oh, thing. Yeah. Awkward's yeah. not always the an easily corrected thing, but it's also I I, I disagree because sometimes the awkward is in an intentional thing. It's like, hey, just stop cutting people off. Stop, yeah. stop assuming you know everything about Tolkien. Stop uh, are... explaining rugby. Like, you know what you're doing wrong if you can verbally go, that's just me. Yeah. So catch those moments and go, oh, wait, maybe I need to be more self-aware and readjust how I do this. That's one yeah, way. Guess what happens? Yeah. You've created an introvert. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that's the direct result. It's like, oh, when yeah. I say things, people are weird. I guess I just won't say anything. Well, that's, that's on them. I mean, we all went through that, though. We were all probably like, hey, guys, wait on me, you know? Yeah, and it's also that eventually you figure out, Some of it comes like, with age, oh. too. Yeah. yeah, like being more considerate of people's time comes it's, with age. Well, it's pra- it's more, the more you talk to people, the more yeah. you start recognizing social cues, but then we can get into a whole, like, well, there's a spectrum that everybody, you know, so many people yeah, fall on sure, here and there. Sure. Like, 
somebody's not full on, you know, remembering license plates, but they're just like, yeah, I always <laughs> think of, I think an interesting tidbit would be fun here. And instead that's not. Wait, that is what that people care about. Also, that's you're right. I'm really good at remembering license plates. What's that? The, what you just said. I'm really good at that. I know the license. I know your fucking truck's license plate. I'm not going to say it, obviously, but that's crazy. I know your phone number by heart. You're the like that's, you're full of shit. This is where I, this is where, this is where I'm like serious. I love it when people are just like loud, but they're also like I'm autistic. Like I don't think you are. Yeah, I really oh, yeah. don't think you yeah, are. Oh yeah. yeah. Like, oh yeah. yeah. I'm just from the south. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, fucking, I wish we'd go back. Well, it's also <laughs> funny when like just one of them yeah. rootin' tootin' yeehaw license plate <laughs> counters. Like yeah. I don't think you are. I well, also like people. There are people who like get a, a diagnosis. As a, 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 autistic as adults and are like, yeah. hey, thanks for the outpouring of support. And it's like, your life's actually pretty great. Why are you treating this like it's a problem? But, uh, you should be thanking your lucky stars that you are whatever you are. But you know? I'll say for like the introverted aspect, like yeah. there are people that are just, they're super nerdy and like know a lot of facts about stuff. But sure. facts aren't what Makes sense at two in the morning, bridge your shit face. Like, yeah. you ever put your thumb in your ass right before you fart because it makes a weird <laughs> whistle sound? And then somebody will like be like, Actually, that's a way to massage the prot state. Is actually, if you, they, yeah, the yeah. doctor's way to bring it to like, a, Who brought this fucking geek? And he's like, I thought I was adding by bringing some uh, uh, actual facts to the joke you were making. And then that guy is like, Well, I guess I'm not gonna talk to people again. Because this is me thinking I'm adding to the conversation. Well, but so then, I'm going to stick up for the awkward folks. Sure, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not shitting on the awkward folks. I my. I think we're all awkward in our own way. But I'm also saying, maybe then if you're that guy, only go like. Also, maybe don't end up in situations where you're with drunks at three in the morning who are like dumb in my ass. It's like also <laughs> there's there's a way to read the room and be like maybe this isn't are for you me. Saying he should stay home and eat pizza and watch Rambo. Yeah, there you go. Proving yeah, your true. point. Or, or, we put or, a nice little, uh, or, no, or, Sean wants to open another no. package. Or, or like, or like, I don't know. I just feel like there's, 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 there's ways to like read like, Hey, this is, I do it all the fucking time. I'm like, I'm not going to that. That's not for me. I don't yeah, want to, no. I don't want to have a fantasy football team. I don't want to, I don't want to do, do that, that kind of like, shit. I'm like, just going to stay away from it. I, you yeah, know, I'm, I'm very, I'm very, I wouldn't know. I'm definitely yeah. not an introvert, but I definitely am picking what I'm doing. Yeah. A lot more carefully when Fuck it comes to yeah. social stuff. Yeah, but and I want to experience new things still. But you, yeah, you can't go full pickup artist on like these no. on people that are awkward. Like, well, just stop being that way. Like, yeah. that's not how. Awkward well, not stop works. being that way, but just sort of, you know, like yeah. not like. I also think that no one's ever going. If if we, no one's ever going to make the world or social situations easier for you. You got to do that for yourself. For sure, you mm -hmm. do have to figure out ways to be like, okay, if I want to be. In public, if I yeah. want to go to a situation, I have to be aware of what I am doing as well. Now, I know that is part of being awkward. And that also might be exhausting. Some of it is, it like, is yeah, awkward. Yeah, introverts, is exhausting. Like, I think, can be, like, hyper aware of their actions, and that's why they don't go out. Sure. Where extroverts are just like, ah, I'm fine. What did I say? Yeah. Something weird. Who gives a shit? Yeah. And then that plays off itself. I think the best advice we got was yeah. uh, from the young lady. She was good. A young lady. Like, hey, just because you're an introvert doesn't mean you don't want to do stuff. Right, right. You just might be a quiet participant in that activity. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. I, it's a part of me where I'm like, oh, shit, are they not having fun? They're having a great time. They're just not What did you say? Spectating. Yeah, yeah. I also enjoy talking to the quiet person. Yeah. I like taking a they moment and be like, oh, hey, you what's, do. Hey, what's you're an here? extrovert. Yeah. yeah. You're like, yeah. But you have, have you ever have you ever done that though? Just open that where you're like, "Hey, what's up?" And you start talking to the quiet person, and then suddenly it's just like, "Oh, they're like that Life Savers book of candy." Where there's just so it's like, "Whoa, there's a lot here." Yeah, someone yeah. just had to well, they, open the package. Good with, and sometimes the uh, the introvert can be good with an A person. Oh yeah, but not a group. You know? Like, oh yeah, yeah. It's not like, a one. Size they can still be very all. friendly. They just can't be like, mm -hmm. I don't like crowds. You know? Some yeah. People, yeah. So yeah. I got a hey, introverts. I got your back. Yeah, I, I like an introvert. You let's like, go. Let's go. I hang. feel like you. You like it's like you pet the, you pet the animal too hard is what happens. Yeah. No. Nah, I nah. think you Lenny these introverts. <laughs> yeah. You think I do too much? I think you might. I think I think you come in. Ketchup. Yeah. Mm. It's like when like you give a kid a hamster and it's petting it so hard the eyes are bulging. You're like okay, we got to be a little bit less. Just a <laughs> little. It's okay. <laughs> but give me. You're a, a big space. eight, but you're too strong to hold your new sister. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, maybe we yeah. did it. Let's go be. Yeah. Let's go have an extroverted lunch and or then, introverted. We'll just eat and just no. uh, be. Let's let's eat 
Three We're all meals having soup quietly. Is what Kyle's saying. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, Through a straw. Shawnee, tell them where they can find you, real quick, please. Uh, special on Peacock, uh, YouTube page, Sean Patton Comedy. I have a podcast called the Raw Beef Podcast. Uh, Shane's episode dropped today, actually. And uh, on the socials, Mr. Sean Patton, I'm on the road pretty constantly. It's all up there. Website is me, SeanPatton.com. Because the motherfucker that owns SeanPatton.com won't sell it to me. <laughs> What's on SeanPatton.com? It's a, he's a film critic. Last I checked. So. Won't sell it to me. <laughs> um, <laughs> Has it critiqued oh, your special? Boy. I mean, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> and I hope he fucking just... Mm. All right, Kyle, oh, tell him what if I... My name's Kyle Kinane. You have the internet. Yeah. You'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Introvert. That's, that, 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 I, what, wait, what was the... Your plugs are the, speak to both of you so it's greatly. It's the dumbest thing to be like. like it's my, I don't know. You got the new special. You might want to remind him of that. It would show up if you went to the internet. If you Google Kyle name. Kinane. Shocks and Struts on YouTube. Oh, yeah. The same website where kids open Legos. <laughs> Huge debut. <laughs> Huge debut. All That's right, it. I'm Shane Torres. Shane Torres on the internet. Kyle's rubbing off on me, I guess. Uh, oh. Keep it out for the new special. It's coming out soon. I just watched the fourth edit of it, and my body's disgusting. <laughs> That's how it always is, bro. Shut it down. This has been No Accounting mm. for Taste podcast on the All Things Comedy Network. We'll see you next week when we talk about something. Fun. How about self esteem? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I want go. you to leave. <laughs> <laughs>